Good Monday morning, Northeast Ohio. I'm 3 News Meteorologist Peyton Domsky. We started with a little frost around this morning. That's because of clear skies, cool temperatures, and obviously then on top of it all, a lack of wind too. And those are all the ingredients you need to see that patchy frost develop. The sun will put in work. It'll thaw things out. Temperatures on the rise also going to help. Tomorrow we get a little warmer. Our high temperatures are going to be close to 70 degrees. We will have a notable change and that's going to be more cloud cover around, but still nothing to put a huge damper on your Tuesday plans. By all means, we continue to stair step up as we go through the rest of this work week. If you picked a spring break week, which maybe unfolds this week with your kids, maybe it's the grandkids, and you didn't have plans to go anywhere, you really don't have to. I mean, you can drive two hours and experience almost the same warmth. You could probably drive all the way to Florida, and they will be dealing with similar conditions that we get by the end of the week. Temperatures this morning have been winter-like. We are close to 30, if not in the 30s, for almost everyone across the area. Temperatures did dip in a few locations into the upper 20s, but what I want to tell you about is high pressure still in control of our forecast, and high pressure gives us blue skies and sunshine. Shine. There is a boundary just off to our north and west, and that's keeping a little extra warm through the Chicagoland area as they have a southerly wind. Even Minneapolis this morning was at 52 degrees, Chicago at 50 while we were in the 30s. We do tap into some warmth, but it's not necessarily with that system. That one has to sweep on through. It brings us the clouds tomorrow, and then we see a very dominant area high takeover for several days. And where we find ourselves in tandem with the position of that high pressure system, we are on the receiving end of an abundance of warmth. High temperatures today in the mid 60s. That's above normal by almost 10 degrees. We should be in the upper 50s for this time in April. Sunshine galore. You'll need the sunglasses for the morning drive, the evening drive. You get the gist. 50s though, as you maybe head to the Guardians Yankees game this evening. The first pitch being thrown out at 610. The sunset though still right around 8 o'clock. So things will get a little cooler and just remember you're closer to the lake as you come downtown to Progressive Field. Tomorrow on the hour we start mild. We have some additional cloud cover in play. But once again, we start mild and I mean close to where we should top out this time of the year. Cloud cover serves as a blanket, traps in some extra heat, and then we have the daytime heat of the day and we beat out today tomorrow. So it's an upward trend from here in your National Zymart on the hour forecast. Our next chance for rain is not until we hit the weekend and you might be saying I made plans for Friday and Saturday. I think that's smooth sailing. So this is one model's output. This is the European model. I've zoomed you ahead to Thursday. Thursday is still dry. We are locked in by sunshine. But what's going to happen here is with a long range system, we kind of paint it like a big paintbrush. So remember, it's not really fine. You're not getting the nitty gritty details. It just gives us an idea of what's going to happen in the near future. So this is Friday and I think it's overdoing the rainfall on this. I think we actually get more cloud cover starting to build in on Friday, but still some sunshine. So don't think too much about Friday on Saturday. I think the majority of the day will be OK. I think perhaps a few isolated showers as the front starts to move on in. In. Our best chance for shower activity will be Sunday. So if you picked maybe Sunday plans, you might want to rearrange them to Saturday if they were going to be outside just in case. But that just gives us an idea as to what's to happen in the future. So once again, things can change. We still have plenty of time in your union home mortgage extended forecast 60s today, 70 tomorrow. We feel like June by the end of the week. In fact, we could have our first 80 degree day of 2023. Last year, our first 80 degree day across Cleveland, at least at Cleveland Hopkins, was actually April, April 23rd. So perspective, it happens in April or May, no matter what year it really happens in. Just know the warmth isn't not typical or atypical for this time of the year. It's just definitely we've locked ourselves into a warmer pattern. Do we stay here forever? I don't necessarily think so for at least the weeks to follow this, but it's definitely a real nice start. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday and go out and enjoy the weather. Soak it up in every single way possible. Have a great one.